Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is part two of my review of this 4-inch X150 Mini Quad from Vifly and shows how to set up the receiver, the transmitter, as well as configuring beta flight and the flight controller. So now we need to get our Vifly 150 connected up to our transmitter. So the first thing we need to do is create a model on our transmitter. We need to create a new model in an empty slot. Find an empty slot, press enter and create model. And scroll across to quad here. Now I've already set up the defaults on my radio so that the channel assignment can just be done by hitting page. This is something you do when you set up your radio. There we go. Long press to confirm and we now have our new model. Now what we need to do is change this to something a little bit more sensible so just press page to go to page 2 of the model setup and we'll call this Vifly. There we go. One other thing we need to do is to set up the failsafe for this particular model so if you just scroll up that page 2 to failsafe mode currently not set, press enter and we'll set that to no pulses and we'll complete the rest of that failsafe setup in beta flight in a minute. For me the way that I actually like to fly is to use this switch, three position switch for my flight mode so I have those angle, horizon and acro. I use this switch here for my arming switch because it's nice and easy to, for me to get to and I use the switch at the back there, the momentary switch for the buzzer. So let's get those inputs set up. Page two, number page four, sorry that's the input page. Scroll down to a free slot and press enter and we'll do the arm switch first which I'll just call arm. There we go and the source just press enter to select it and flick the switch it automatically selects that as the source. So the arm switch as an input switch has been set up. Here let's go to the next free slot press enter and we'll do the mode switch next which we'll call mode and we're going to use the source for that as this switch at the back here press enter flick the switch and it automatically detects switch SE. Press exit to get out of that and the last switch for now is the buzzer switch so create a new input and we'll call that buzz. There we go and the source is switch SH. Exit. So that's all our input set up. We've already got the pitch, your roll and throttle all set up. So page to page 5 we need to go to the mixer page which you can think of as sort of the outputs if you like. So scroll down here to the first free slot and select enter and it's already selected arm so we'll do arm first. You can give it a name which is exactly the mix name can be the same as the source name it doesn't really make any difference. There we go and arm is already selected so we can exit out of that then we'll do the mode switch There we go, so we've got our input which is mode and our mix name is saw, is mode as well so that configures the connection of the switch to the output stage of the Tyrannus and we'll do the buzzer switch next. So we've now got buzzer set up, exit, exit, we've got all our mixer outputs set. So for now that's all the setup we need to do on the radio. Now that we've got our radio all set up and our switches configured, we need to bind the receiver to the transmitter. Now, one thing I've found with this Vifly X150, normally most quads, if you plug your flight controller board into your computer with a USB cable, uh, everything will power up. In the case of the X150, that doesn't happen. Everything powers up except for the VTX and the receiver and we needed to do some binding so we're going to need to power this with a battery. So because we're going to connect a battery up we need to 
take a few precautions. The first thing I like to do before I do anything is never make an assumption that although this is being, you know, it's come out of the factory and it's ready to go. Don't assume that you haven't got any short circuits in here. Don't just plug a battery straight in. You need to check there's no shorts across this battery connector. Now you can use a smoke stopper. I just happen to like using a meter because I'm used to it. So we just use a continuity test between positive and negative on there. Nothing, that's great. So we know we're safe to actually plug a battery in. And because we're plugging a battery in, we need to remove the props because we don't want to lose our fingers. There we are, we've got the props off. And because we're going to be connecting a battery, we also need to connect a VTX antenna. If you power up a VTX transmitter and you've got no antenna, the chances are you'll fry the output stage. So we'll connect this on here for now. Bend that out of the way so you can see what's going on. And I do quite like the way that they've mounted the antenna on here. They've wrapped them through a piece of heat shrink, which is quite good. So the way that we bind this quad, or this receiver, to the transmitter is we need to press that tiny little button there whilst we're applying power and have the transmitter in binding mode. So let's do that first. Make sure that your model is selected. Go to page two and scroll up to the mode. Now, this is a 16 channel receiver, so you need D16 selected on your transmitter. Make sure that channel one to 16 are selected and that you've got a receiver number that you haven't used before. If you choose one that's been used before on another model, you'll get warned anyway. So just press bind and we haven't got telemetry. So select telem off and this will start chirping at us. There we go, we're in bind mode. Now, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see this and it's a bit of a juggling act. But you, oops, you need to press the binding button and apply power. There we go. If I disconnect that and take the transmitter out of bind mode by pressing enter and I reconnect power. We've now got a solid green light on the receiver. We haven't got a red light, so we know that the transmitter and receiver are now bound. So we can carry on doing the rest of the things that we need to do. So we now need to set up the flight controller using the beta flight configurator. It's all pretty straightforward. We still need a battery though. That's great. And we plug the USB cable into back of the quad like that and we're nearly ready to go so let's just connect to the quad there we go and one quick sanity check is that the quad when it moves around you see it actually moving on the screen so you know that you're actually talking which is great whilst it's flat on the ground let's calibrate the accelerometer perfect Quick look through these options, um, USB port, don't mess with that because that will really mess up your day because you won't be able to talk to the flight controller. Finger the configuration, this is straight out of the factory as far as ViFly are concerned. And DSHOT 600 is already set up. And we've got a PID loop of 4K which is good. We've got serial protocol selected and it's SBUS. So Everything's been done for us. Uh, the OSD is turned on. So there's nothing to change there. Let's check failsafe. And that is set to drop. So that matches what we set on the transmitter. So if we lose a signal, we'll just drop out of the sky. Exactly what we need. Pitch tuning. These are factory settings. The rates look a bit low for me, but we'll check out what this is like in our maiden flight. So let's have a look at the receiver. We've got throttle, we've got raw yaw, we've got pitch and we've got roll. 
we've got orcs one which we're going to use for arming we've got orcs two which we're going to use for our flight mode and we've got orcs three which we're going to use for our buzzer nice and simple so let's set up these modes and see what's so this actually looks pretty good already so yeah everything that's surprising well straight out of the box the flight modes are already configured so with the switch in the back position we've got angle mode with the switch in the middle position we've got horizon and with the switch all the way forward they're turned off which means it's in acro and our mode is selected so that's exactly how I like to fly so we don't have to change any of that let's check that the beeper is working let's add that that is on aux 3 on this switch that's perfect so let's make that buzzer buzz when the switch is on and save to activate it there we go that's working perfectly so the last thing we need to do is add an arm switch and that is on aux 1 so let's go that's good so we want it to arm when the switch is down in that position there so hit save and I think we're nearly done let's just check the OSD so I don't want the artificial horizon I don't want the any of those things on the screen cluttering things up I don't need the craft name and the voltage and the flight mode and the timer are up at the top of the screen which is fine I can save perfect and before we go let's just have a quick look and see what version of beta flight is installed so go to the command line interface type version and we are running 3.2.4 which is pretty new version so we can come out of that anytime you come out of the CLI you'll actually reboot excellent so we're done in there now so now that everything is set up we've got a radio set up we've got beta flight configured we've got a battery connected we've got no props on so now is a perfect opportunity to do a couple of quick but important checks before you actually go out and fly first one is are the motors turning in the right direction that'll make you jump if you don't check this and they're wrong so let's just arm the quad and the motors are turning great these should be turning that way these should be turning that way so you can feel which way they're going perfect and we can check that the failsafe is working so let's arm the motors again that's all like it's flying perfect and if we turn off the transmitter failsafe has kicked in so that means the motor stop this will drop out the sky and it automatically triggers the loss model alarm this is all ready to go now we just need to screw some props on and away we go it happened on a nothing night you shook my hand and it fit just right we were standing under your string lights i never knew i could feel this because no one's even close to going home but i just wish that we could be alone because how you making me